So you graduated and landed your dream job. Now what? There are no valedictorians of careers. There's no Dean Scholastic Awards or anything like that in career. So you have a job. You are now going to be rewarded by being promoted and paid. <laughs> it's, it's kind of fun, right? You get money, that's great and all but there are only so many promotions to give out each year and the only way to get more money is by getting promoted or getting raises. So here are five steps to get you promoted faster than everyone else. The first step is to figure out what your boss won't learn. Now that sounds kind of like weird, right? Like why are you listening to your boss and what they're doing? But your boss will drop subtle hints about what is frustrating them, what is what are they complaining about? You wanna start listening and seeing what are they talking about? So for example, when I first started, I was 21, 22, and my boss kept talking about VBA and macros in Excel, saying, oh, I wish I knew how to do a macro, or I really need to learn to code a macro, or whatever it may be. I picked up on that, and then I bought a Udemy course on VBA macros and how to write code for them for I think it was $12 and it was the most important investment of my time and money. So for $13, $12, I was able to get a class on Udemy and learn what my boss didn't want to learn or didn't have time to learn. After you've picked up on some technical skills that your boss wants to learn but doesn't have time to learn and now that you have learned them, um, the next step is to actually build something. So you took the class, let's just keep with this VBA example. I took the class on VBA, now it's time. Okay, what can I do with VBA? Build something, how can I create value? So what I did was I built some automation into some templates or spreadsheets that my boss was using constantly. So that is one way to give value to something by building something, incorporating it in, showing them that you can do stuff that they cannot do. Step three is to get involved. This means you need to constantly seek out councils and other communities that you can be involved in. So for example, my industry is construction. So you join women in construction. I'm also on a council for University of Portland, um, industry advisory council. So you can kind of seek through there for recruitment, start going to recruiting events, start hiring people, start communicating with people, showing your company's really good, those kinds of things. So that is getting involved. The next step is to document everything. So you wanna do this kind of as you're going along. I document everything on Notion because Notion tracks almost anything. It's like database structured. So I will track praise emails that I get from other people so that I can show my boss in like a final review. I track the books that I read. I track the classes that I take. I track the people I interview or hire. So those kind of things, you can track anything, like the proposals you turn in or the people you onboard or the people you train. Just start getting lots of data because a lot of managers like to see, you know, examples, visuals, what did you learn? You know, all that kind of stuff. So I suggest using Notion, but you can use really any note-taking app of your choice. Step number five is arguably the most important step. And it's so simple, meet with your manager. I know it sounds a little scary to meet with your manager, but it is so simple. And I cannot tell you the amount of times people have told me, oh, Liz, like my manager didn't promote me this year. And I go, well, did you talk to them about it? And they're like, no, but, like that is the most important step. Your manager needs to know your goals. Does your manager know you wanna be promoted? Does your manager know you're not happy with your salary? Does your manager know these things? Are you communicating these things? And if you aren't, set up a weekly meeting or send an email saying, hey, I wanna discuss future expectations, performance, blah, blah. It's just one email. And especially for the women out there who are too afraid to kind of say what they want. And we're, we're told a lot, you know, just be grateful for what you have and, you know, don't cause too much of a mess or a fit, but it's like, women out there who are in the industry, all the guys are meeting with the managers. As a manager myself, I meet with lots of people and it's always the guys asking for more money. I want this, I want that. And I never see women ask for money and it is your time. Like all the guys are doing it, you should too. <laughs> To summarize, the first step is to figure out what your boss is unwilling to learn. The second step is to build something with that information. Third, get involved in your industry. Fourth, document everything. And fifth, meet with your manager. The main message here is to figure out skills that are within your control. Focus on technical skills like Excel, Outlook, 
Microsoft suites, stuff like that, and be so good they have to promote you, and then actually ask for the promotion or ask for the raise. So that is the underlying message here is become valuable, so valuable that they have to promote you. Comment what you guys are gonna learn below. And if you're interested in how I go about learning new technical skills using the semester technique, click here and I will see you guys next time.